Thank you. Did you start with the old Virgin Zone where it went wrong for you? Mm. Yeah, so obviously it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, never a good scoreline that you want to be on, on the end of. I think that the um, the reality, is as simple as it sounds, um, for United's goals, you'll see that, you know, two shots from outside the box and I'm sure there's, there's plenty to talk about in terms of um, the quality around around that. But, we, we you know, we've got to look at ourselves and... and see that we didn't get enough pressure on the ball for the shots we you know we didn't get enough pressure on the ball for the for the cross and, and the first contact for the for the second goal the first and third goal third goal will be a little bit longer as the phase of player started from our corner um so really in, at the, the other end of the pitch for for as much as the good positions we got in you know we never really Look like the threat that that, that that we're capable of. So, so that's where the scoreline was, um, and we have to accept that that you know we fell short in and around both both boxes of creating, scoring, and, and obviously trying to do trying to stop stop the opponent. Um, I felt the game was largely in general play fairly fairly even. It never felt like you know one team was was really really on the ascendancy and was peppering a goal and things like that you know we had some good phases and some good spells in the game there's no doubt about that and I'm looking at some of the some of the players and thinking they've played well today but there was moments where as a team at uh, around both boxes you know we we've we've um, we've not been what we want to be in terms of stopping the goals and and obviously scoring them as well. I know you've been asked in the past about this, but all three goals came down mm. your right hand side as well. Is that an area of concern for you now? Well, I'll have to look at the the ins and outs of the, of, of the goals um, in, um, in 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 more detail. I think um, you know you, you you look at the game in isolation, and and but you, we've also now we also have got to look at bigger picture stuff as 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 well. So you know whether there's a correlation of personnel. For them, two things I don't know. But we're, we're, something, something we'll definitely have to look at. But regardless of right, left, hand side, middle, we've not got up to the ball when they've been in around our box and and um, and have allowed them to show the quality that they that they have. And um, yeah, you know, once again, we, we we leave here thinking that you know there was so much more we could have done in we could have done in the game. You know, so um, um, it, it, in terms of the game, did it feel like a three nil? loss no but it was because of you know we didn't show show enough at both ends of the pitch Steve you mentioned hey, that you've scored in every game mm. game threat yeah I agree yeah can you put a, your finger up it? well like, like, yeah and I think like I said that, that's a frustration Jordan because we um, we we're in in more than enough positions today to to really cause a threat, um, whether it be in wide areas, whether it be through middle areas, whether it was one v ones, whether it was combinations passes and behind shooting, you know we just haven't done that next bit and turn it into chances and ultimately then then goals. So so it was a it was a team thing. There's no doubt about that, um, and it's frustrating because as you said, you know we, we've had at least one. And, and often in other games, a lot more moments where we have created chances and do look like we're going to score, score a goal. So it was frustrating that we didn't hit them levels today. Was Jamie's absence a reason behind that? You know, because he is. Well, it 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 it's, it will it will always be, yeah, because um, because you know he's he comes alive in the box and um, you know he's uh, it can be as good as it gets really in terms of sniffing out a chance and. Uh, and we actually did get in and around United's box a lot more than than we have done other games, you know. And that that'll be a frust frustrating, probably fr be frustrating for him we're, we're watching it. But but it's about the guys who played today, obviously. And like I said, it, it uh, there was more than enough opportunities to to cause damage today. But we for whatever reason, you know, we um, and obviously we were looking at it for whatever reason. We didn't we didn't turn good positions, good opportunities into into productive moments. Yeah. So yeah, Jamie's a bit. Evans is a bit inconclusive. He picked up quite a nasty um, knock to his back last week, and he, he's uh, he hasn't has given him every opportunity. We just didn't manage to to shake it off, he, even though it's you know it's, we're still a, we're a week away. Um. So 
um, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. We're still, it's still sort of like I said, trying to work work out exactly what it is. Um, yeah, Ricky's um, more conclusive and serious, serious hamstring injury, and is going to be ruled out for four months. Yeah, so um, so that's a blow, especially for him. And um, uh, we have to support support them both now um, on the recovery. But uh, Ricky will obviously be a, be a lot longer than than, than Jamie. And that's one issue wouldn't mind. There were a few boos from the Leicester fans mm. full time whistle. What can you say to those fans to, to convince them that you know you're on the right track? Yeah, well, yeah. Listen, I accept that you know that that's um, it's a three nil de- de- defeat, and you, you know you're not going to get um, cheered off, you know, in any whether you hear it at Old Trafford or or, or anywhere else. So, um, I, like I've said to you before, I have no no problem with any fans' reaction, good or bad, because that they're entitled to do that, especially with three away games and the money that they spend and the, the commitment. You know, I have a lot of respect for that. You know, you know, regardless of what they may feel, I will always respect. You know, um, a commitment of a of a football supporter. You know, um, so um, so now, I, I, like everything else, I'll accept any any situation, and um, and be, be motivated to um, to help it um, to to feel better and to get better and um, and keep going with what we believe in. Like I said, we have got the international break now to. Um, to work with the players that are with us, um, but to do some extra work off off the pitch in terms of um, you know reviewing, taking stock, planning, and um, and getting ready for when when we recommence. But there won't be any. There might be some let off in terms of getting ready for games because there is no game next week. But there won't won't be any any um, any days off for the staff and um, sort of uh, working towards you know the get getting going again in a couple of weeks. Okay, thank you. Safe journey.